In 2019, investigative journalist Peter Louis Mayberg wrote an explosive book titled Gangster State. He ventured into Ace Mahashule's murky dealings from his time as a struggle activist in the 1980s to becoming one of the ANC's most powerful figures. Mayberg joins me now from Cape Town to discuss the latest developments around the ANC Secretary General. Now, Peter, I remember um, interviewing you around the time your book was released, and I can hardly believe that it was just before the elections of that year. And I'm I'm assuming you're not surprised that we find ourselves all this time later at a point of a tense standoff within the ruling party. Yeah, absolutely. It's kind of hard to believe two years has gone by. Um, but it, it kind of does show you how slowly, I suppose, you know, there's this, uh, there's this saying that the wheels of justice turn, turn uh, slowly, but it, it seems that the wheels of politics also mm. turn kind of slowly because... I think at the time when, when Gangster State was published, there, there was this expectation that, you know, given the, what I still believe is pretty damning indications of gross mismanagement on behalf of Mr. Mahashule uh, when he ran the, the Free State Provinces Affairs, one, one almost expected that the, the fallout would have been quite intense and, and quite uh, swift. But it, it clearly is the internal ANC mechanisms of dealing with um, ill discipline, etc., uh, seems to turn as slowly as the wheels of justice. So it, it has taken quite a bit of time. Oh, well, the rest of the country, and especially those in the journalistic world, we were all wrapped um, on Wednesday night as um, suspensions seem to be flying left and right and uh, letters being released. Then they're fake. Then they weren't fake. And I remember at the time of the release of your book, there was a statement released from the ANC at the time um, uh, condemning the contents of your book, only for it to transpire later on that not everybody had agreed with the release of that statement. And then we come... Just a few days ago, a letter released by the Secretary, Secretary General suspending the president, he said, um, of the ANC, only then for it to come out that not everybody agreed with that either, and some saying it's fake. Um, you haven't been surprised, I take it, by how um, Ace Marushule has handled, especially developments over the last week or so. Mm. I guess not. Look, I, I think he's uh, always viewed his position in the ANC as kind of the, the, the last guarantee, I suppose, of any chance of a, a sort of a fight back or comeback. So as soon as he loses that vestige or, or position of power, Mahashule finds himself in some very tricky terrain. So I think it was, it was always going to be on the cards for him to, to kind of um, try as far as possible to... to, to uh, land a severe blow against the what we I suppose call the Cyril Ramaphosa faction. Um, however, it, it does seem that the, the timing or this time around the, the support uh, for that grouping is not of, of a sufficient nature to, to really mm. um, you know allow for the party to consider the suspension of President Ramaphosa as anything being serious. And I think there's also been a, a very interesting build up to, to that moment too. Uh, Mr. Mahashule in his position as ANC Secretary General, routinely used that position to counter um, stances and positions that uh, emanated from NEC decisions. Uh, you'd, you'd recall that there were some remarks made about the nationalization of the Reserve Bank, for yeah. instance, where the ANC on NEC level decided that uh, the status quo would remain, but we saw utterances and even um, you know, formal letters coming from the Tuli House and Eshi's office that they would still you know, embark on that route of nationalizing the Reserve Bank. So there's, there's been a long history, well, two-year history at least, of Mr. Mahashuri using that office to, to go against what would be the, I suppose, the dominant um, undertakings and views of the governing party. And this then culminated in this um, quite bizarre letter of suspension issued for President Ramaphosa. Now, there was a warrant of arrest issued late last year in connection to that 255 million rand asbestos audit contract in the Free State involving um, um, Ace Magashule. Uh, are you hopeful that, depending on how things transpire this weekend at the NEC, that somebody will be brought to book um, in that case? Definitely. Look, I think it's very important for us to separate two um, almost parallel running processes. We've got the political developments especially the political developments inside the governing party, inside the ANC. 
And then there, there is a legal or justice process that is now unfolding mm. that should be viewed as something that's totally separate of whatever happens on any sea level or inside the Tuli House. Um, it is always for me, and I think uh, this view is shared by, by my fellow investigative journalists, the law enforcement process is far more important for us in terms of what happens there mm. when we uncover, uncover this kind of corruption. So, you know, last year's arrest of those involved in the asbestos scandal and the subsequent court appearances, I think that for us really is the major victory because it shows that when issues that should be of grave concerns to any, you know, taxpaying South African and <clears throat> any South African on the receiving end of government services um, should have viewed that as a victory because it shows that when we expose these issues, the, the law enforcement authorities by all appearances now do take these um, indications of corruption seriously enough to, to take it further. So I think that that's really where my hope lies, that we, we have seen some sort of a reform in, in that pocket of our law enforcement system that we're now going to see these kind of prosecutions going forward. And indeed, another reminder of how important the work being done by investigative journalists like yourself really is for the country, especially at the position we find ourselves in right now. Thank you so much for your time. Gangster State author and investigative journalist Peter Louis Meinberg joining us live there.